be recording. A few seconds in, can I see the file? There we go. Alright, so, continuing in Star Control Origins. Uh, keys were provided so that I could do this, including with the uh, Earth Rising expansion, which I checked the press releases. I, I, I found the all four. Uh, so that's in the one for uh, Aftermath, that was part one. Part two is Return of the Lexites, and we did encounter something with them, because the Lexites appeared and talked to me. Uh, in... not... This is part 11, I believe. It would have been part 9. Yeah, part 9 is where they, they appeared, briefly. Uh, part 3 is the Syndicate, and while, yes, I have been running into the Syndicate um, forces, they were in the base game as well. So them being there and attacking me is actually normal. Um, there should still be more there. And... I just realized I think I was misspeaking. And then, uh, Earth Rising Part 4, Earth Rises, that isn't out yet. But, 2, 3, and 4, so that's Return of the Light Sites, the Syndicate, and eventually Earth Rises. From my perspective, it's eventually, by the time you'd see this, it should already be available. Um, those three all state, uh, I, I think it's even the same thing. Because Star Control is a non-linear slash, non-linear action slash RPG game, the new content does not require the player to have already completed the main story arc from the base game. It does not say this for Aftermath, so my kind of waiting and watching, hoping that that, hoping to see something about that, it might be that it actually can't happen. At least not yet. I mean, it's, we'll see. I mean, I'm not seeing anything here. It's also possible, though, that they just didn't have that language established yet for it. Um, but it does leave me wondering, what do I do about this Return the, the, return the Lexites and the Syndicate? because I've not really run into any of that. Um, and I don't have anything here. I don't think I have anything here either, and finding it would be too much a pain. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I am in an awkward position. And I kind of forgot what is I want to do relative to where it was. <sighs> yeah, so I I just, I don't know exactly what's it. And by the way, I also don't know what the point of the, the this is. The, the circle highlight. Um, but yeah, so I'm not entirely sure how to start that stuff. And I kind of want, want to do that before getting into the rest of it. Because the next thing is... Like, a mission before the game ends. Um, I think there's two main missions left. Uh, yeah. So... I... I, I just, I'm a little unsure about what to do. I want to handle this, and I didn't think to look up just how to do it. Yeah, I, well... Okay, no, I will leave you there. That mark, even though it's like, well, nothing's actually happening. Um... Aftermath that takes place at Epsilon Trireme, I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to trigger. But I don't... I, uh, let's just go. Because uh, if I finish off the base game, at least Aftermath should then trigger. And hopefully I'll figure out the other two. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I guess I, that is kind of a fault of being non-linear, that then the new stuff you don't, in players don't necessarily know how to find it. Um, yeah. Or one could argue it could be a design flaw as well. That's like, well, how are you, how are you supposed to deal with it? But I mean, legitimately though, let's say it's showing up then attacking me. Cause like, I've not even I've not encountered you guys before, and now you're trying to attack me. I don't know what's up with that. All right, so I'm just gonna. Captain, this is the system the Famish told uh -huh. us about. The Scribe are up to something sinister around here. Once we deal with the defensive fleets, we should thoroughly scan the planets to see if we can find anything. I, I see it's these two. All right. Um. So I'm gonna approach this perhaps the dumb way. up 
Um, which is, I'm just basically going to go back and forth. You know, attrition, I can always heal and their numbers will dwindle. Like, destroy what I can. I, I have so much money that I can handle just buying new stuff. Can you be more specific? Yeah. Oh. Alright, um... I can... Uh, I've already failed. I was going to say, if I can manage to stay behind it, but th th this game is lousy for controlling your ships. It just... Th this this design is... Only the Greek rocks are decent in that regard, but they're not the easiest ship. To, but then not really the best ship to use. Ah, da. Then we also have that silliness that this thing is immensely capable of turning. Yeah, I, I really do feel like the, the balance on this thing might be a bit wrong. <laughs> the, the juggernaut. I mean, I mentioned in the previous part as well, it's like, uh, this is doing way more damage than it probably should be. Well, uh, no, not the damage it, it's the damage is fine the health is fine it's it shouldn't be turning this readily Easily, but what the hell, why not? Okay, at least the enemy AI is also stupid. I'm gonna shoot a planet. Okay, depending if it. I will do this. If this actually works, I will do this. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, it's actually gonna do it. It is just gonna bounce off of this planet. So if I just wait long enough, the 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 edge of the arena moves in. That's what killed me. It didn't kill me in the it didn't kill the previous ship. The 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 juggernaut didn't. The scrap didn't. The arena did. So if I can just wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just it's a silly thing. Uh, I'm abusing the AI, but I don't really care. <laughs> Sometimes I do care. This isn't one though. And the Greek Rocks are perfect for doing this because they will actually just sit here. And you don't have the momentum silliness that you do with the other. Well, you have it, but it's not as bad, I should say. Now, it is interesting to see it shaking every now and then, and it would make sense to me that you would have AI movements potentially have a random uh, number generator applied to it. Um, so they would jiggle. Well, actually jitter would be more accurate. Um, so that they will try different paths so they wouldn't get stuck. And say, I wasn't moving. He just worked his way over to being over there. 
Now, it's possible though that the size is here that Jitto wouldn't be good enough. Uh oh. Oh, this is bad for me now. Ugh. Oh, come on! Know your battlefield. <laughs> oh, I am so happy that worked. It's so stupid and abusive of the battle mechanic. But it's also one of those I, I spent the time and I did have to deal with it at the end. It wasn't, you know, completely easy. So it's not inappropriate. But it still is funny. <laughs> Like, that would be one of those, if I were a game designer and I found out that that was possible, I'd be like, you know what? We can leave it. I, I, I would legitimately say we can leave it, because if somebody decides that that's how, they, that's how they can win a fight and they're comfortable doing that, let them. I don't see... Because otherwise, what are you going to do? Remove the, uh, the arena shrinking? Which, I mean, arguably, okay, that, that could be removed. You don't really need that. But that... What, what else are you going to do? So yeah, I would be okay with that, because it's like, no, it's a consequence of our decision here. That that decision, this, that's a fine decision to have, that the arena shrinks, and that you take damage if you're outside of it. If somebody wants to play taking advantage of that, I'm okay with it. We're dancing. We're dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> We're still dancing. Okay, uh, I, I, th this AI has officially gone stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm out turning it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to save this video. <laughs> it's just so stupid here. Let, let's see what happens. Turn the other way. Oh my god. And it's still just circling. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am making it, you know, exposing how stupid this AI can be. But oh my god, this is working. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move. Hopefully, hopefully he's gonna figure it out. Can you figure it out? He's still not figuring it out. He was just orbiting me. This may reset him, though. It does seem like AI get reset when you visit a planet. I, I just... What else have I... I'm just trying to think. What, what other things have I broken? And that, that wasn't a serious break, to, to be clear. That, that was unfortunate and probably a, yeah, if we can do something to fix that, let's fix that. But it's also a... Th this is... It doesn't have to be a high priority. It doesn't hurt the gameplay. It's just silly. At least to me, I would not consider that a high priority. I, I would definitely consider the Juggernaut being able to turn so readily a higher priority issue. That's also an opinion thing. In my opinion, it, it turns way too fast. Especially because, I mean, hopefully I'll be fighting that uh, Battlecruiser. And a little bit, the, not the Dominator. The Dominator was the one orbiting me, the other ship. That was a battle cruiser. That thing turns a lot slower. It's a smaller ship, though. Why, why does that turn slower, despite being less mass, than the Juggernaut that's huge? Nope, it is continuing to orbit me. Awesome. I have made a pet, made a friend, but it's more of a pet because it doesn't talk to me. 
Actually, in some ways for me, that's still a friend, because my friends don't always talk to me. And that's why I like games, because the NPCs have to talk to me. Also why I like writing stories, because, again, I get to have people actually talking to each other. Alright, looks like only the one volcano. A decent return on my investment of time. Yeah, see, that's a battle cruiser, the thing flying towards me now. It's ignoring. What the heck? I am confused by that. Hey, a new ship. <clears throat> I'm just thinking it. I sometimes I make that noise when I'm thinking. Um, I don't even know if the mic if that's gonna survive the audio processing. The mic, I'm sure, picked it up, but I uh, do zero out uh, sounds below a certain certain volume. But I wonder if it's... they don't actually... until I, like, go to the planet with the, um... Which will be soon. With the lab, the, the super weapon, supposedly. Ship, it's not. We'll see that soon. Um... Might be that until then they actually won't in, uh, interact with me. Oop. Okay, that is volcanic. It is not shattered. Oh, here we go. You, you will have to be destroyed. Just the one, sure. That worked. Yeah, I took some damage, but I did obliterate him. Okay, see, now this guy's gonna come. Yeah, just... Just fight straight away. Um... <clears throat> yeah, see, look at how slow this thing turns. The Juggernaut so fires faster. Well, turns faster. Why did I say fires faster? Whoop, I want to move. Ooh. And that immolation right here, it definitely has a large range. I don't really care about that, that one, though. Um... The phaser will be advantageous. Okay. Use my thinking. I missed the things I wanted to grab, but that's okay. Oh. Will you show up? <laughs> nope. Alright. That's right, I have the phaser on the Vindicator now. I forgot that I did that. Um. Now, Jeff is supposed to return in Earth Rises. So it'll be interesting to see how. Because I, I like that character. This very powerful being deciding to be nice to the Mowlings and accidentally becoming their god and they kind of need the supervision. I'm actually in pretty decent shape, so I might not bother with trying to travel back to the starbase, refresh my fleet, and then come back. I don't know. But it's also the weapon... Oh, I'm trying to remember. Because there is 
a fight with a thing. I'm just trying to remember, is that now or is that later? I, I, I can't remember. That fight I may want to refresh because that, that's an that's a larger fight and kind of annoying. Yeah, since I'm not being landed inside of a volcano, I'll do it. I am noticing that the frame rate is pretty bad right now. I'm actually not sure why. I don't recall it being this bad on volcanic worlds. But there is definitely a lot going on, so... There we go. Jafan Tier? And Jafan. Yeah, it looks like it's just... Well, no, there might be a second uh, thing of oxygen, was it? Silicon. Because 30 might be a bit much for, for one thing. Nope, that was it. And I don't feel like going around shooting the, pile, the rock piles to get what's on those. It's also just crossing my mind that since I can believe that Aftermath will activate once I beat the game. So I can figure out, okay, I'll do that. If I don't see a way to get the Syndicate or the Return of the Lexites to to get going, th those quest lines, I will look those up to figure out what is the first mission here? How do you actually start this? And also, if that is the case, that would probably end up being a ding in the review that's like, this is new content, and I was definitely experiencing new content within the context of the base game, but nothing expanding on the base game, like, you know, in expansion. It's like that, that, that would be an issue, so. But we'll see. E even if it's a... I can find it. You know what? I should actually look before I start this final mission stuff. Uh, uh, um, uh, it's so hard to make a decision on it. Because I was just thinking, you should look it up beforehand because it's the whole. I should test it within the con context of not having to bleed the game, which is supposed to be possible, but at the same time, that's not. How I'm playing it. It's like I'm not playing it in a. Um, I, I'm trying to play within a vacuum. I typically do with reviews. Yes, I did write that when I looked up the uh, hyperdrive location stuff for the for the colonies. But I think that that's you know 
a little bit fair because it's like, well, that was a base game, something in the base game. And some of that stuff, it's like, well, if you have to find on a planet, there's a lot of planets. Um, and so like the black hole gun, finding that, it's like, that, I, I'm still amazed to a degree that I did find that so early on the base in the original uh, review. Like when I looked for it, I think it was like part two. So it's like within four hours of starting the game, I think it was actually more like three hours. I found that. One of the most powerful weapons you can get in the game. It's like, okay. And it's because of how the game is set up, it is always there. And I do intend to mention that in the written review. All right. All right. The end is coming. Would help if I hit the right thing, though. I'm yeah, I'm in the right system. They were freaking out. Okay, yeah, the thing, the like boss ba battle that is later, is after. Doesn't look more human than Scribe. Got a you know, water. here, Captain. A reasonably modern-looking Scribe building, set in the ruins of an old alien complex. Not much left of the old alien site at all. Just building foundations. Thousands of years gone, I'd guess. The Scribe structure looks empty, or everyone's hiding. A lot of high-tech equipment here. A research facility, I think. All the equipment is on. I don't think it's been empty for long. That's weird. Got a big display here showing something that looks like... I want to call it a wormhole. Some serious distortion in space-time, at least. Is this the weapon? Or the energy source the Famished were so concerned about? It's something I'm concerned about. It's pointed right at the ship. Wait. Captain, this place isn't empty. A lot of scribe coming from somewhere. They're going to overwhelm our position soon. They're going for the weapon controls. There's no time. We're transmitting that code the Famished gave us now. Something's happening. The Scribe have pulled back. They're not interested in us anymore. They're interested in the screens, all of which are flashing. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely not safe here anymore. We're leaving now. Nope. We just made the situation a lot worse. Clever ones amaze, irritate us, all of us. So clever, full of information, organization, food, yum. We are the Exraki. We hunger crave. You know us. Forerunners lurk, ah, the shadows, many years. They see you. Also, pay for our return emergence. For us, we pay for. <laughs> no, too much. You will see, smell, taste soon enough. The gluttonous eyes are coming arrived. Memories not there, broken. Entropy is scrumptious. We were friends of Scribe Slayers. Something awoke, origin open to the opened eyes. We awoke. Chaos, 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 flavor, chaos. The Scribe resist inevitable, love their hated order. Great fight, order prevail, bastards. We hide in space between with gluttonous eyes. Do not try to understand, moron. You are creatures of order, 
layers above below need no such niceties, doilies. Fear the eyes. In old time, space, bad order time, your time, time of real, scribe, coward, and id. They built walls around their order, shut the door, doom! Forerunners slip between, above, below. Forerunners are skinny. To end Scribe Slayer order, we would need much bulk. We need tools, fools, tools! Tools of the real, tools of the precursors. Tools to reduce, delete skinniness. Origin. Forerunners run for us. They struggle to open pry this origin precipice you see before you. Scribe Slayer resists. So forerunners use proxies, dupes, meat boys. Ordered worms famished, found, blundered into us forerunners. Light, attention, hate, not ready. Hide again, scribe, clever, cunning, ordered, evil. So we use famished dupes. Delay, Scribe. Also convince other ordered beings fight, struggle, Scribe. Chaos breed. Yes, duh. Humans, ordered beings. Disgusting, delicious, you hunger for knowledge. Snoop, sniff, pride. You obvious big irritation, distraction, death causer for scribe. We usher you into light death. Ha ha, ha ha, nice. Did not expect distraction to open origin gate hole for us. Consume, eat, burn. First, scribe slayers, then all ordered beings. Do not see. <laughs> Hunger opens eyes. You are creature organization of order organization. Gluttonous eyes feed on you. We feast on you. On all order, organization, information. Entropy. It will know you. No, I can fight this one myself. Thank you. Oh, I didn't realize I turned as much as I did. Thank you, Jeff. Captain, there are a lot of very angry-looking ships coming out of that origin. 
I think we'd better get out of here. Captain, this is the structure which apparently there's too many of them swarming out of it for ah, us to do anything right okay. now. We need to get I was hoping maybe I can just attack, but no, destroying the origin, that is that's that larger fight I, I was mentioning earlier that I remember. Okay, so this is now Exraki territory. And yes, we do ultimately defeat them, but they first kind of annihilate the Scribe and the Famished. You know, the only two enemies that are actually, the only two forces that are actually still fighting me. Um, yeah. So it, it basically neuters the, the the game in some in some regards. But that will also make some exploration easier, especially as far as. Um, Especially as pertains potentially to DLC stuff. And also just, you know, exploring to find various things. Thank you. you should know that there have been recent disturbances in the manifold, a little to the left of this one. I understand entirely. One interesting side effect of this is that it has restored certain deep manifold sensor systems to me. I now smell all. Certain Lovely. Are clear enough for me to share them with you. One system I have smelled in particular is Hapertina. There is a stench coming off it, a stench of opportunity. And if you haven't yet, you should also consider contacting my peers. Huh. They may have smelled something of interest as well. Hupertina. That's right. Pop that. Pop that. Hang on to the rest of that, though. Just trying to decide. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Alright, hypergate. Actually, no. Is let there me. Anything else? Exception. Civil farewell. Not. Bettina. I don't remember this. If I'm honest. Alright, so I will pop here and then drive up, I guess. Thank you. Welcome back. I will first start with that. Check out the growage. I think your rubbish could be a statement on the value of that something, or my estimation of the value of your time. With exception, civil farewell. Roja? Roger. Okay, so because of them not necessarily being near each other, that, that works out well for me because then I'll just go to this one straight away. It's like I don't need to worry about, okay, let's find all of them because then it'll all be like, if they're all in the same area, no, that they're spread out. Yeah, I do not remember... Well, maybe I kind of remember the smell stuff. I could try looking at the old review playthroughs to find out. Again, that looks like a mowling ship up here. And these guys do get around, don't they? The, the, all civilizations, I mean, not just... Not just one. Why are you here? Why are you coming at me? And it's like, we're, we're at peace with the measure. up. I 
what you do and measure what you need. Permission to initiate interspecies interaction level... Uh, we didn't expect to find anyone civilized out here. Not in a ship like that, at least. What do you want? Uh, what news is this? The true name of my people has been lost to time. You have not recovered it, and claiming that you have is a tremendous insult. Please fill in form LLT-64. Um... I, I just kind of feel like having that one be the last. Because I really have no idea what I'll find. You know, it's possible that I did get the tip about going to this system and I just was like, oh no, oh my god, I gotta deal with this stuff first, thinking that it was being with the Xvacu was more pressing. Or oh, it's something that got added with the DLC. I don't know. I I should probably just check. But it's also I know that it's like, nah, I'm I'm in good shape. I can I can do this exploration stuff first and then deal with the exwacky and also potentially thing certain things won't happen until I get back to earth so as long as I don't do that I should be free to explore I wonder if I hadn't, if my approach to the measured conversation were different. Like if I had said instead of, I don't think them was the original name, but I just said you should find out for yourself if they would be like, okay, we're going to find out about this then because we can't let you have information that we don't. Then also would have made sense that having received, like, what are the L Lani? It's you. Well, that's not possible. You'd also think they would, like, report back in. By the way, we'll, I, it'll try to remember when we do find out. But at some point, we it is revealed that the scribe, you know, besides just what that Exwaki was saying, that the scribe were actively trying to keep them where they were. We're actually trying to protect the galaxy from the Exwaki being released, which we just did. That it wasn't a, they didn't know exactly what they had. No, they knew exactly what was going on, just never told anyone. I 
unidentified object, so that might be a crashed ship. Which is not always that useful. Oh, no, it isn't. It is actually a facility. Cool. Got a structure here, Captain. Abandoned, but not that long ago. By the Norast. Okay, we know those guys. Looks like a waypoint as they were fleeing from their home territory. Somewhere up the spur from here. Evidently, in the part of space on the far side of the Scribe Empire, something sinister is happening. A massively powerful new race of aliens appeared and has been swatting aside all who stand in their way. More powerful than the Scribe, even. Sounds like someone we might like. Unless, of course, we hate them. Yeah, thank Looks you like for coming around to that. A few supplies here they couldn't carry with them. We'll just load those up now. Okay, so that is interesting. That ties them with the Noras. I honestly just, I cannot remember what their main thing was, the Norast, in the base game. Six you, welcome back. Alright. I, I just, right now I'm looking Six to collect this information. To the village system. Something interesting happened there. Something interesting might still happen there, actually. Time's fun that way. Exception, civil farewell. Alright. Right the first time, which don't always get the search right. Right there. Yeah. Six you, welcome back. You should know that there have the Cartier system well, it contains something for the first person to find it, which could be you. Six fuel, you should know that there we have to take interest, so except so I guess just beware. Exception, civil farewell not found. Yeah, so it was Just pull that up. I, I, I'm just going for speed at the moment. Why did I leave it? I don't know why I left it. And I do think I'm missing one star base. You should know that there, I have detected something of interest in me. I would go there if I had propulsion systems. You do. Hence why I'm sharing it with you. Six fuel. You should know that there have been recent dis something awaits you in the Jatusis. My senses can't tell if it's literally awaiting you, or more metaphorically awaiting you. Consider bringing some literal weapons just in case. I want to end on the one near Shakespeare. You should know that there have been if you go to the bath cases, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for us. Six fuel. You should know that there have been recent. The system in question is for Funder. You will find treasure there. Or perhaps the answer to a question you thought not to even. Hopefully it's the treasure thing though. You should know that there have been recent the system in question. Should you go? Yes. Or don't. I don't know. I'm not your mom. Six fuel. You should know that there have traveled to the following system. Or don't. Or you won't. Right. The system. It is. Or you traveled to the following system. Or don't. 
but if you do, and you should, you will find something there. Or you won't. Right. The system. It is at my tenth. Exception. Civil farewell not. Okay. Katia. Trip spin. Drives. Spin. Something. Man, I was even right by some of these. both us wow a lot of them right there Jatu okay here's one over here Also listed here. Yeah. So based on that not being green, I'm, I'm, there must be one more. Bathcat. And I feel like I've already explored a fair amount, so. I, uh, I I will just like look up, and I, I'll bet it's just one. I'll bet it's just one star base I'm missing. Corbin. Hammer it. There. Alright. Do 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 do. Just do it this way. Oh, no, I'm not missing any. I do have them all. Yeah, there's the four down there. Three there, three there, and the one up there. So there is just none right in the middle here. Fun, fun, fun. Alright. In which case, then... Welcome back. Is there anything else? Nope. All right. So, I think this one is the closest. So I'll go there, then up here, and I well, I can stop at either trader. I'll get this one after a bit. Yeah, it would be nice if there was some way to, like, see distances to the different places. Like, from the sector map, to actually have it tell me how far I'd have to go. But, that might be asking too much. But it is also just good to know I have found every star base. That that really does make my life easier. And that list also had Rainbow Worlds, but it's like I found two, I don't Those are less a I need to find these kind of thing. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so there are three three planets at least.
Because it can make out three uh, rings. Worlds, thanks to that brown dwarf. Yeah, just a cleaned off. It's a lot of smalls, but it's still let's let's just clear stuff off. Cause I, I, I feel like it I feel like it at the moment. I don't always. And I also just need to pause because briefly because like wait, did I remember to silence my watch? Cause it's very nice. It vibrates, so let me know when I have an email, text message, call. But not when I'm on mic. <laughs> I don't I don't need my wrist shaking. And I just didn't remember. Did did I do that or not? Yeah, I, um just to have something to talk about right now, I'll talk a little bit about the watch. I'm so glad that I got it. I mean it just for what I want in a smartwatch, it is basically it gives me a pain. It's not an eye watch or anything, though. It's, uh... Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. Uh, it's a pebble. I'm trying to remember... Exactly what it... The exact name to it. It's a, a version of the Pebble Steel, I want to say. Because they did make a special version of it, and that's the one I have. And I got it, actually, after Pebble basically shut down production. <laughs> Fortunately, though, there were still places selling the new old stock. As it, I mean, they were never really old, but they were still selling it at a good price, and it's... I, I really, really liked it. E-ink screen, battery life of... I think it was actually rated for a week? No, it's rated for 10 days. The Pebble Steel is a week. This version of it is 10 days. I've had to go for two weeks, for 14 days. Hopefully I won't have to replace it for a long time, but there is a um, fossil hybrid smartwatch that I would consider. Because it's got an e-ink screen, but it's actually got normal uh, watch hands on it, just on top of the e-ink screen. But I haven't looked too, cl too closely at that. It's just, oh, that is a neat concept. I would be tempted by that one if I ever need to replace this, but I don't need to replace it. It's working beautifully. But it is also something that's just weird to me about small watches, is why are they not more utilizing ink screens? I mean, it's like, they're perfect for power consumption. Because ink is solid state. Once it is set, it'll just stay on that. It takes energy to write it, so... 
once the image is there, it doesn't need to update. Which means that, for example, a watch face, because I use an analog face, it only needs to move the hands, and typically no just the here, minute hand. This looks like Kazanti stuff. Civilian stuff, like a Curious. Column. They're not from these parts, but it's weird. Most of the other alien colonies I've seen have had little touches of home. Posters, plants, game tables, just little things to remind the occupants of home. There's nothing like that here. If anything, the place is designed to look like a spaceship. No windows, no green space, just metal upon metal. I wonder if the Kazanti even have a home, or if they remember it. Well, whatever, they left some stuff here and we're gonna take it. Oh, well, that's annoying. Two of these so far have just been money. It's like, that I don't need. Alright, there's another one. Yeah, right here. So I'm gonna head over to Vega, because I'll definitely be able to make that. I might be able to make it all the way to the next place. And, um, I'll refuel at Vega. Oh yeah, I would have been able to make it all the way easily. But still, as I'll refuel here, also sell stuff. What kind of ship is that? I don't... It's a freighter, I believe, so it's not a danger to me at all. But I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a freighter. I may go over and look. did encounter him previously. So that's annoying because I have no idea how to figure how to find what the password is, but that would fit fit in with the Syndicate DLC, I'll bet. But I just have no idea what the password is. Or how to find it. And that I don't want to just look up. Looking things up about the base game doesn't bother me so much. Look at things up about the DLC that I want to experience here now so I can review. That's true. I only see the one ring, so that makes this a little easier. At least faster. I just realized I forgot to clear the marks, the ones I've been to already.
Unusual structure here, Captain. A lot of it is turned to dust, but were I to guess, I'd say it was once a reef. That adds up. It looks like this world was once almost completely covered in an ocean. So where did that go? Temperature is reasonable for liquid water, gravity is normal. No idea where that much liquid water could go. There are a lot of these reefs around too, and this structure is planned. There's order here. That sounds a lot like the measured to me. I can imagine they probably didn't do so good with all the water missing. And on that note, I now suspect foul play. Here, look, this is one of their ships. It's old, but intact. Don't know why they couldn't take off in it. Maybe it visited here long after the ocean collapse? Well, no one's using it now, which means we will. No, 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 yes, no, no. I guess it will be basically the same amount of time either way. Well then actually I'll go to that one first. The one in the uh near the Trandles. I'll go there first, then I'll jump up there, get the one there, back to the starbase to jump over so I can pick up all the ones that are off in that northeast quadrant of the map. Actually, I'm going to be a little cheeky here. Because I can get free fuel. Not that it needs to be free, but I can. I can get it this way, so why not? There it is. I don't need to go back to the main world. I can, I can just get it here. There we go. Federation member, this is a Mukay fish exploitation colony. We of course, we could think of nothing more. Thanks for dropping in. All right. Also, the one up there. Now, I might actually be able to reach there. Just flying up. No, I shouldn't do it in that order. I, I have a certain idea, a certain logic. It's probably not that great a logic, but I have it. Though I could just change the order of certain things and it would still work out fine.
I do not know what that is. Looks like some sort of temple, not a ship. This looks like an old scry facility. Lots of containment equipment here. I'd say a bioweapons facility, but it's different. Sterile, but not in the way you're thinking. Almost like they turned it into a museum. Horrifying weapons are the kind of thing they'd take pride in, aren't they? Okay, I get it now. A lot of scry have apparently died on this world. Sounds like a vessel caught a strain of some virus elsewhere and returned to this world and infected everyone. This is where they cured it. Not just that. This is where they turned it into a weapon. We'll see if there's anything else here we can salvage. Infection is a pinthy weapon, typically. Okay, so... Alright, yeah, I'll do it this way, and I'll just have that one in the, um, upper- Oh, hang on. This is faster. In the upper left, be last. I just want to check. Don't see any around here. I'm pretty sure that's the news, the Groja. That one's gonna be last. That'll be after Groja. That'll be later. Oh, I got that one. That'll be later. 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 Next. Later. Okay. Hey, at least it stopped just being money, I realized. I got a ship out of it and a weapon. A weapon I'm not going to use, but... Oh wait, did I get the weapon or the schematic, actually, now that I think about it? No, I got the weapon. So if it lines up, I'll do that one first. And then the uh, remaining three planets to the system. I'll clean the plant off and then come to the, the uh, structure. It is interesting because it seems like what I'm finding are just normal ruin kind of stuff. It, it's not really special. Not enough to make me be like, oh, that's why the star bases was saying I should go here. That's a crashed ship. Got a seems. crashed Xraki ship here, Captain. Most intact one I've seen. Let's see what we can find inside. See now, this is well valuable. Dead Xraki. 
don't know what I expected. Makes me wonder what would happen if I found this earlier, though. though. Controls, life support, that kind of stuff. No eldritch horrors, anyway. Computer is functioning, and... Okay. The records from the moment the ship emerged from the origin are perfectly legible. The records from before that are really weird. Before is even the wrong word. There's something screwy going on with the timestamps here. But it seems like on the other side of the origin, the Xraki were permitted to live in some kind of island of relative normality. A bubble of order, beyond which lay chaos. But that chaos regularly intruded upon the Xraki and consumed them. No real record of how the Xraki felt about that. I'd normally go with mixed feelings, but maybe they were cool with it. Well, that's all been fascinating. We'll see if we can get this ship flying now. Oh. So I can have an Xraki ship. Interesting. Nope. Nope. Yeah, this one looks more tempting. to the star base so I can get fuel and then on to the next one. This star base. And the next... where is it? Found it somewhere. Oh, there it is. The heck? coming to me? What do you want? No, I'll destroy them myself. That actually helped. I didn't mean to do it, but it did actually help. Yeah, this is not a ship that's easy to control. <laughs> Making these tracking missiles kind of a problem for me. Made it. Phaser time! I have two ships with phasers. <laughs> eh, yeah, we'll go with this one.
Here we go. Oh well. I was hoping they would want to talk, but no, they just wanted to go, hmm, and then attack me. I just want to, yeah, it's the Taiwan hybrid I don't have currently. Is there anything else? Nope. Exception. Super fair. I don't think I'll go near any of the worlds that have the, uh, the harmony in them, so I don't have to worry about that. I've got I wanted to look at the x Vaki ship. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Looks like a crashed drinking ship. It is a crashed drinking ship. Looks like we've got an old settlement here, Captain. The architecture is drinking, I think. Though architecture is the wrong word, really. It's more like they crashed a ship into another ship and then into a mountain and decided to run with that. No drinking around to ask, though. Computer here suggests they were attacked by someone a few hundred years ago. Okay, I see now. These were drinking uh, exiles. Or at least Drenkin who wanted to stop obeying Scribe orders. I can guess how the Scribe felt about that. Poor guys. They just wanted to be left alone. To make some kind of life for themselves here. But the Scribe weren't having it. Well, we'll salvage what we can. Looks like they had a lot of stuff here too. I 
windows are just slipping a little bit because let them rest on the mice on the mouse and sometimes you need, sometimes you need, the finger just flexes enough to actually hit the button all right where's this last thing there it is Is the next one. I didn't clue that one, but I have been there. Um, I think I actually have the fuel, and I go by two traders, so I'm just going to set autopilot to go there and see what happens. I definitely think I'll have the, I should be, I think I have the fuel to get there, do the thing, 
go to the trader, get fuel, and then go to the next one. Yeah, maybe not. Skip. I probably can, but I'm not going to. I don't, I don't feel like what I'd get out of those would be worth it. Same. Though I was more inclined for that one, I just, I don't feel like it.
out of structure here, Captain. I don't recognize any of this stuff here, but it all feels vaguely familiar. It's not human or Lexite or like any other alien stuff we've seen, but it all just feels familiar. Like every corner and door and object is in the right place. Odd. What else? It looks temporary. Not a permanent settlement. Equipment for refueling vessels. So, just a way station. Built by aliens who have similar tastes to us. Huh. Well, we'll salvage what we can. That's what that. Yeah. So that's what I already have. Hi. Is now will there be ships in there to deal with? Oh, wait. Oh, I screwed up. This is not an opportunity one. <laughs> this is I got that mission. <laughs> All right. Um. I should be able to get up here and then over to the starbase by the famished, I think. And if not, it'll be inconvenient, because what'll happen is the Taiwan come and get me, refuel me, but drag me back to Earth. Well, they don't completely refuel me either. I think they just give you a hundred. Yeah, I should be able to get there. I missed. There we go. Sorry, I just want to go to that thing last, so you have to wait a little bit to find out what's there. found some ruins here, Captain. A few hundred years old, at least. Definitely a spacefaring race, but nothing super advanced. About our level of tech. Okay, here's something. A monument. A memorial? Hang on, it's interfacing with the lander, transmitting something. This looks like an encyclopedia. This is the entire history of these people. The Zivern. Apparently, when the Zivern met the Scrive, the Scrive immediately tried to destroy them. The Zivern fought back, and it worked, somehow. The Zivern managed to even find like-minded aliens who helped them. It ended about as you'd expect, in the ruins of Zivern civilization. But the Zivern never did learn why the Scrive had it out for them in the first place. 
Every conversation with the scribe was about the same thing, their arrogance for considering themselves a peer of the scribe. The scribe do not have peers, evidently. Well, that's interesting. And so is this, blueprints for a Zivern Warcraft. We'll, uh, we'll probably find some use for that. Interesting. Oh, no, that's right. I have the rest of the planets here to clean up. That's only if they have anything worth getting. the famished aren't gonna come for me as long as they don't I should be fine okay I'll be I should be able to interact with the star base at least before they welcome back you do this before they do anything to me Wow. Huh. All right, I will pull that out. Eradication ray and flat cannon. That could be fun. Um, Is there anything else? Well, kind of, but I need to see my map, not yours. Okay, clear this one. Let's just head down here, hopefully... Okay, the Famish are leaving me alone. Which makes sense. They have their own problems now, because the Exraki do eventually attack them as well. Yeah, they must be... It must be waiting for the trigger of me going back to Earth. There it is. says it's a crashed ship, so it looks like I will be growing my fleet. Because I can only hold, what, four points worth of a ship?
Scribe ship. Looks like we've got a crashed Scribe ship here, Captain. We've seen weapons which can do this kind of damage before on Xraki ships. Here's something. Looks like we've got a record of the last communications before the battle. Text only. I'll just do my best Scribe impression then. You, Xraki, I come to you with a message. You were once wards of ours. You could be again. Few have ever heard what I will say next. We were wrong. The Scribe were wrong. What we did to your people was wrong. The origin. Great evil lies beyond it. We should never have opened it. Should never have exposed you to the sickness that lies within. Let us make reparations. Let us allow you to heal. You will be safe again. Under our care. What do you say? No record of what the Xraki said. I suppose shooting repeatedly is itself a statement. Well, we'll salvage what parts we can. Hey, I got a death ray now. Cool. So, yeah, that that's... The Xraki were from this galaxy, were under the Scribe, and when the Scribe opened up the origin portal, they kind of decided to, hey, we should send these poor bastards in. Yeah, it's uh, not so good. Not so good, the result. Got some ruins here, Captain. Looks like a bunker. Only thing left standing on this world. From the amount of background radiation, I'd say there was a non-trivial nuclear war here. Inside, we've got, yeah, military stuff. About Cold War level of tech in terms of human history. Paper records here. Pretty intact. This place isn't that old. Okay, looks like they did have computers, but they were all taken over by some virus the enemy inflicted them with. Although the enemy seems to have accused them of the same. There's a lot of details on the accusations that flew back and forth, but the end result is all that really matters. Several large booms. Oh, oh, well, that's funny and sad. The virus that took over these guys' computers, it was called Overmind. That guy. And that's it. Uh, that's a little annoying. Okay, so it's just that one. So head there. 
with a fast travel. And I might actually stop. How long have I been going? Not quite two hours. Nearly, but not quite. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of feeling a little tired. Should do some checking on some things that are outside of the game. Like just new stuff. See what I need to write up. Things like that. I think I'm like doing that once I uh, take care of these opportunities and I'll like wait near uh, near Earth. Welcome back. can sell that. There. Now I am a little curious. Yeah, okay. I, I don't have the like ability to purchase um, to purchase some things I've been, been finding. Oh, wait, I... Okay, well, no, that's... Oh, so that can have the Singularity Missile, just like what I have on there. Wow, okay. But I'd want to be able to build them. That's... that's the thing. Alright. I'm just out of curiosity. What happens? Okay, so no, it, it does remember. Which is good. It would be... Oh. No, it'd be kind of a problem if it didn't remember. And let you just cycle things in and out to not oh, great. You want the ones who unleash the track. You have been us all. The Atraki are every nightmare you have ever had. Millions of Sky have died at their hands. Millions more soon will. That is but a fraction of the story. I wonder if they can truly recall the rest. Yes, long ago the Atraki were wards of ours. They were simple creatures, we know the time. There was an artifact on their world. A device left behind by the precursors. An origin, we called it. We had seen similar things in many places. We established a facility there to study this one. There were certain risks, of course. Hazards in testing which could not be avoided. We used the Atraki for those tests. Eventually, the origin opened beyond the chaos. We did not give it a name. But the description fits. There are realms above and below this one. An infinite number of parallel universes. Some are almost identical to this one. Most, though, are filled with things unknowable to our minds. Things that are hungry. We awakened those beings, or drew their attention to our reality. And when they arrived, they did something. It seems that whatever lies beyond cannot enter our dimension directly. So, they corrupted the Exaraki to prepare this universe for their arrival. Where before they had been simple, thoughtful creatures, 
be extracting were transformed into mindless, slathering beasts. We are not entirely sure how the corruption spread. But soon, Exeraki everywhere in the Empire began to change. Many of those Exeraki were stationed on our ships. Within a year, we had lost nearly half of our fleet to the demons. And so on, they turned to war. Billions of souls were lost. Scribe and ward species alike. At great cost, we pushed them back to their world. To the origin where this evil spills from. And we closed it. We vowed never to open such a door again. And to prevent any of our simple-minded wards from doing the same. Peace reigned. For thousands of years, order persevered. Though, we always knew it would not last. When we stopped our research into the origins, we left behind devices. Alarms, if you will. Alarms which began going off a few decades ago. We see it clearly now. The Xraki sits for us, lurking in the shadows, preparing to open the origin again. They have had thousands of years to prepare. Or longer. Who knows how time works for those beings? We are. Kiss and arch your back, humans. You have survived on the interstellar stage for entire months now. Well done. You have no idea what you have unleashed. The bad guys. Means. A mercy to die by our hands rather than the extractors. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of them myself, and I'll start with this, especially since I can make more. Ow. Mine gets bigger. I mean, it clearly is better than, than the beam cleaver. I'm guessing it also is doing less damage when it gets longer. There. Not too bad, really. Oh, there's another one? Oh yeah, I'm gonna fight till the end. Whoa! Ow, ow. Please just ignore me, please just ignore well, No, you're not ignoring me, but you're a scout ship, so I don't really care so much.
hopefully this is more interesting stuff on it. Besides just, you know, the thing I'm actually here for. Yeah, it looks more interesting. This looks like a Lexite facility, Captain. I take that partially back. This was an alien facility the Lexites settled in. Not a lot of them, though. This was more like a scouting party or an observation post. And it's kind of in the exact opposite direction of where we thought they were heading. Yeah, more antennas aimed at W-51. But not just there. I see a whole lot of sky surveillance gear here, too. Maybe this place is an early warning system looking for signs of the threat they were worried about. Think we should be concerned it's abandoned? Because I do. All right. Get out. No, let's... Do that, and also... Okay, so I've literally done everything except visit Earth again, which should pop up the next objective. It's actually kind of funny that... It was, it's not an objective to visit the Earth. Instead of what I'm going to save here, so I can stop and do some other stuff. Alright, uh, see you next time.